Hello everybody, welcome to Halloween's kind of budgety, I don't have internet LP. And I said I was going to do a Castlevania game, but I didn't say which one though. You uh, brought this on yourselves, by the way. Just, just so you all know. This is Castlevania Adventure. I may have shown you this once or twice in a few videos as like a joke. This is the very first Castlevania game I ever had. Um, to say that it's not a very good game would be correct, and to say it is a very poor, slow, meandering game would be probably somewhat more correct. It's nothing. It's not terrible, but it's... Uh, well, it's the first thing of Castlevania I had. The music is absolutely amazing, as always, for the Castlevania game. Uh, you play as Christopher Belmont, and Chris, a uh, man here, is... Um, well, he, I have to say honestly, he's pretty hardcore, right? Simon had to deal with a few mud monsters and, you know, skeletons and shit. Chris has to deal with all sorts of horrible things, like slow frame rates and weird blob monsters that turn into the pause button every so often. And occasionally he has to deal with such horrific things as gigantic floating eyeballs. Or just eyeballs that explode when you hit them in proper old school style. Anyway, enough taking the piss, because this game is okay. While it has a lot of faults, it's actually pretty fun to play at uh, points. The main thing, I haven't played this in donkey shares by the way, so I might be a bit shit. But the main thing about this, from what I remember, is don't get hit. You get hit, you lose your powerful whip. Um, that's bad. You want to have your burly whip because, well, it makes getting through the game a bit less of a ball ache. On the other plus sides is many, many times the game slows down due to frame rate issues when there's more than one thing on screen, so you can use that to your advantage and plan your next move. As with all good games. But listen to that music. These guys had like an 8-bit like an machine to work with and they crank out sounds like this. It's incredible! Like, this song's called Battle of the Holy and was going to get a rejig in Castlevania Rebirth, I believe, but they kept it off the machine for some reason. Also, this game has what I like to call weird power-up syndrome, where they will give you invincibility and other shit where you just simply probably either don't need it or you're just puzzled. Like, Chris here gets invincibility on a section where honestly, if you just time it, you don't need it. And again, two rooms in a row, you get invincibility. It's weird. I mean, maybe it's to stop you getting hit by those, but when you start climbing the ladder, you don't get any more eyeballs spawn. I don't know. Also, the geography of the stage just puzzles me somewhat. So I'm in a graveyard, I go up a slope spiky thing, with ropes connecting the areas, to another graveyard with a tree in it. Like, what the hell is this supposed to be? I don't understand. No, honestly, I don't understand at all. It doesn't make any sense. Now look, look at this. I've climbed up a rope onto some stone platforms, maybe? Also one up. Ugh. Look at that timing. Give me one up or give me death, because I will probably need this. Whoop. So what I thought about doing was doing a stage, a stage, a video, basically. Fuck off, Mudman. Alright. I think these are supposed to be vultures or some sort of evil crows. I'm going with crows, I don't know. They're, they're weird and I don't like them. And I know what they are. I mean, to be fair, Christopher himself looks like some sort of nudist bold man. Where he's got flowing mane of mullety hair and puts Solid Snake to shame. Which you can't tell because this game looks like ass. I know it's a Game Boy game. It looked like ass when it came out. Also, this kind of platforming. Look at this. You have to edge over and make sure you don't jump too soon, otherwise you die. And then jump from here. See what I mean? Look at this. Even as you know this shit the first time through, which of course you don't, you fall to your death and plummet. This is a big culprit. Bats. Now, now you gotta scoot along like this. If you fall, by the way, all the enemies respawn. It's like Ninja Gaiden. Like, like bats come here to bun you because that's how they roll. And you look at this. Does that look legit? No, Christopher, you're floating on the weird graveyard that's in the mountains that's in a cave place. I don't know. Ow, oh, balls. Now we go back, it's someone's the bat back in. I'm also playing this with an Xbox controller rather than on an actual Game Boy, obviously, because that'd be kind of hard to record. Ugh, come on. Ugh, right, now we need to sneak over and one, two, three. Yes. There we go. Also, the timer that just clearly isn't in seconds. This was a weird video game thing back in the day. The timers would go faster than the actual con like the actual thing you're playing on. Doesn't make any sense. Why put a 30 minute timer when it's not actually 30 minutes. Of course, you can't hit this guy, so you have to... Ugh, I've been hit. Ugh, I've been hit again. Whatever. Ugh, I've been hit again. Ugh! Victory! There we go. 
I'll give you a quick taste of the next stage because I'll probably fail it. Because the next stage is a swine. And this video only took five minutes. And I'm pretty sure I can manage five minutes. Lord, my new upload rate at the moment is pretty poor. So, you know. Oh yes, look at this. Just in case you hadn't lost your power-ups to the boss, this room is here to make sure you definitely do. Was it? You really want to kill these bats. So you need to activate the bat. This is the stupid thing, and then... Look at this. I did not take damage! Forsooth, the bat did thine shat in my pipe. What were you... Oh, whatever. And of course we get these guys, and now... Because I fluffed this already, I'm gonna get a big ball of doom in my face in a sec. I think it disappears, there we go. Nope. Uh, <laughs> and because Christopher Belmont is about as athletic as someone who's been locked in a bed for 3,000 years and has no muscles, it makes it kind of difficult to dodge any of the projectiles, especially when you're shit at the game and you can't remember anything. So what I want to do is go up here and beat this man. I love the sound effects in old Game Boy games. They sound so meaty. It's like, what am I hitting him with? Like, like a murder whip. That's what I'm hitting him with. Also, Boomerang guy can go die. Also, old game thing, right? If I get hit off this ladder and fall down, okay, I die. Oh! <laughs> but if I drop like that, it's fine. But if I get hit, I'm dead. It's bizarre. Anyway. Yeah, murder whip. Also, this jump. So you gotta hit this, then jump, and then... Ooh, I made it. That's a bit of a swine. I'm not gonna make the second stage, I'm not. I'm just running through it. Ugh, Jesus. Alright. No! Why? I fluffed up the jump because I was determined to get the power up. And guess where you go? Oh, yes! Welcome to the Castlevania Adventure! The game with like five stages, but it really, really hates you. It just wants you to know that. Alright, I only use my invincibility to get through this bat bit. At least I can carry my power up with me. No bat! If I have to go through the bloody platforms, you can't go through the walls. There we go. Okay, this bit's obviously a little bit easier now. I can, you know, the guys. Uh, like maximum. Which is always good. There needs to be a sound effect word for. It's like. Fuck you, big flying. Ball of shininess, you ass! Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna risk boomerang man this time for a bit of a change of pace. Uh, uh. Look at mad skills! Did you see that mad skills? By the way, Chris really moves sluggish in the sense that you jump and it's not quite responsive. And of course, once you jump straight up, you can't move left or right. There you go. Listen. So that's why all the jumps are a bit wank. Uh. Oh yes, the, see this, along with lots of other games of its kind. Oh. This, uh, along with lots of other games like it, um, the main thing is memorizing. The games are short and difficult, but once you know the enemy locations and what you should be doing at each point, it's not so bad. Like I know the first stage pretty much off the back of my hand, but uh, that bat wasn't there this time. That's weird. But this one is. Um, Whereas this stage, I always mainly died on a lot, so uh, I don't know as well. And the fact I haven't done this in, I don't know, 15 years perhaps? Maybe slightly more. It's been a while, let's put it that way. I'm gonna give this one more go. And uh, promise not to swear too much if I get hit. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you, evil mothball of doom! Yeah, as you get for being a shitter. Right. Yes, I'm gonna take the easy way. And then have to deal with him anyway. Look at that frame rate! You can- everything crawls! Ugh. Right, let's make sure I don't get hit by that and just do it from here. And jump! Okay, it didn't- I got an, I got an extra life for getting 10,000 points. Nice. Yeah, not likely, mothball man. Come on, I need to make this jump. And this is a weird, weird-ass jump as well. There we go. Oh, yes! Mad skills from the Department of Baller. Let's do this. Ugh. Also, did you notice the score disappears when you walk through it? So I need to be, like, uh, here. Then you gotta... Uh, uh, fuck! God, that's such an irritating jump. Anyway, um, I'll continue stage two, because if I make this too long, I won't even be able to upload it. Sorry about the shortness and probable... 
I, I don't. I might try it at five M. Um, but uh, it should be at seven twenty p ish. Uh, possibly. We'll, we'll see what the size ends up being. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this little Castlevania outing of um, probably one of, honestly, the least fun Castlevania games to play. And I've played Judgment, so I say that with a uh, with a, a knowledged head, shall we say. Um, and st in a couple of days we'll see if we can get any further, and hopefully I have better news on my internet I can just drop this all together. Unless, of course, people want to see me try and struggle this fucking thing to the end, in which case I'll hate you forever, but I will give it a go. Nonetheless, I will, I will give it a go while crying and drinking this lovely cider. Maybe more than just three before I get started. Anyway, um, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this sort of side story. For those wondering and don't watch the, up the update videos, Alien is still on the mark. My internet's a bit crap while things are getting set up, so I can't upload sets longer than 10 minutes, which would be a bit shit. But for a game as piss poor as this one, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.